So as well as working at home, we're looking to prevent problems before they reach our own shores. And again, that's a partnership. Nowhere better demonstrates this than the role the Royal Navy undertakes in the Middle East. This audience knows better than most that the area bounded by the Red Sea, the Gulf of Aden, the North Arabian Sea and the Gulf itself contain some of the most important shipping lanes in the world, linking the markets of China and the Far East with those of Europe and North America. And the Royal Navy, in concert with a raft of allies and partners, has played and continues to play a vital role in contributing to the stability of that region and keeping those waterways open and secure for the benefit of all world trade. Now, currently, the Gulf represents the Royal Navy's largest single overseas commitment. At any one time, we have around a dozen ships, warships, auxiliary submarines in that region, plus a number of maritime helicopters which are based both ashore and afloat. This includes four Bahrain-based mine hunters, which, together with a support ship and a command team, is a critical capability in that region. Brought sharply into focus five years ago when we needed that capability off the coast of Libya and very powerfully in the Gulf in 1991. It's a capability in which the Royal Navy leads the world in both expertise and equipment, and we're keen to retain that edge.